Hey guys, it's Nikki here. I'm here to do my fall book tag. This is an original tag I came up with a few years ago, and I've just kept on doing it since I enjoy the prompts well enough, and maybe someday it'll eventually catch on. <laughs> so I have 10 prompts here today, and they are all things that relate to all things fall. The first one being, what book reminds you of a walk on crunchy leaves? To me, this is something that is both contemplative and fun, and for me this year, the book I'm picking is Never Have I Ever by Isabel Yap. It is a collection of short stories. Uh, they are generally fantasy based and, uh, and it's Filipino uh, culture and kind of folklore that they're drawing from, which I found to be incredibly interesting. And these stories were just unreal. I gave this book a five out of five. If you're looking for something a little bit different, a little bit dark with uh, some fantasy involved, it's one I really recommend. Two. What book reminds you of a crisp fall morning? For me, this is something that is bracing and interesting and contemplative. And this year I'm picking um, Astrophysics for People in a Hurry by Neil deGrasse Tyson. This is a recent nonfiction read for me. I read it, maybe it just, it was interesting. I felt intellectually stimulated. It was short, it was sweet, prompt. Prompt three, what book reminds you of a cozy, of, what book reminds you of a full afternoon with a cozy blanket and a good, and a mug of hot, and mug of your favorite hot beverage? Uh, for me, I actually went with The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson. I read this over the summer, but I really think this more, would have been more like one of those cozy fall reads. It was a grand adventure. It was cool. It was interesting. It took you away from reality for a little bit. It was something that I just really imagined that I could have gotten cozied up and just sat down and binged. For me, this one was The Midnight Bargain by C.L. Polk. Uh, there is just something so sweet and genuine about it, and the love interest was just super interesting, Even, but the story struggles was really more with figuring this woman figuring out what she wanted for herself, not necessarily what society wanted for her. It was a really interesting read, and this was a Canadian author. I highly recommend it to anybody who's looking for a really interesting fantasy story that also has a really unique twist for this kind of coming of age, coming of self storyline. Five, what book puts you in a back to school mood? I typically go with something that makes me want to go back to school rather than just like the early fall feel. And for me, this one was The Woman They Could Not Silence by Kate Moore. Man, did this book make me angry, and man, did it make me wish that I had gone into, like, law or politics, just to keep things like that from happening again. And I understand the story itself is, took place in, like, the early 1800s, like, early, in the 1800s, and into some of the 1900s, I believe. I can't remember the timeline, but it, like... Men were definitely the head of the household, and the patriarchy was strong, and it made me really angry, but it also made me realize, as much as we've come far away, we really haven't come as far as I'd hoped, and it always pushes me to whip, to be more involved, even if I don't necessarily know how to do that yet. Book six is, what book puts you in a Thanksgiving mood? This one makes me think of family, of good times, of good food, of just the general familial love and warmth of the season. And for me, this one was Howl's Moving Castle by Diana Wynne Jones. I really love the whole found family vibe. There's a little bit of romance in there as well. And just this really beautiful kind of oblivious grounded narrative on this actually very grand fantasy adventure. And it just, all of those elements together and just the way that they become a family just was really heartwarming and really fits here for me. Book seven, what book puts you in a spooky Halloween mood? I'm gonna go with The Twisted Ones by T. Kingfisher. I There's something about eldritch horror, themed horror books, that just touches something deep inside me. Like, it's creepy, it's atmospheric, the stakes are generally pretty high. I was just, it was, the creepy vibes were so wonderful in this one. I wouldn't say it was outright scary, but it was just creepy and atmospheric and an awesome read. Eight. Uh, what book reminds you of the changing colors of the leaves? To me, this is one where something big has happened. Some, cha some change on some grand scale 
has happened in this story. And for me, this is a very, very recent read, and that is The Obelisk Gate by N.K. Jemisin. This is a world where it's already hard to survive, and you have these seasons, which are these cataclysmic events that change the course of humanity. And book two, The Obelisk Gate, that change has already happened, and now you are following your main character in her struggle to survive and kind of hold herself together. I thought it was a phenomenal read. I gave this a four and a half out of five stars. Uh, not quite, it wasn't quite as good as the first book, but it was a strong contender for the series. That'll take me to prompt nine. Um, what book reminds you of a brisk valley hike? And this one always makes me think of a grand adventure, even if it follows a more used plot line. So it's not something big and cataclysmic necessarily, but it feels just like the universe is at your fingertips and all you have to do is keep moving to get there. And for me, that one was Leviathan Wakes this year. I read this book very recently and the grand scale of the adventure made me think of Lord of the Rings and just the stakes there as well. And for me, it's those kinds of adventure stories that make me think of a Brisk Valley hike. It's intense, it's beautiful, it's there's so much going on that you really have to focus to really appreciate it to its fullest extent. And that leaves me with book t or prompt 10. This is the last prompt for my book tag. And it is what book just gives you the fall feels. For this one, I actually went with now one of my all time favorite books, which was a very recent read for me. I read this in August. And that is We Ride Upon Sticks by Quanberry. There it's school. It is just this spooky, witchy fall vibe, and it just, it's something that I see myself coming back to again and again, especially at this time of year, just where everything's changing, and there's just so much potential, which is what this story was really about, and just to throw that witchy vibe on top of it just makes it, to me, the perfect fall read. And with that, if any of you are wanting to do this, consider yourself tagged, go ahead, just tag me as the original creator for this. Let me know below if you've read any of these books, we can talk about them there, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.